I'm Claire and I'm back finally sorry I haven't posted in a long time but exams and life and everything sorry I'm here now so yay <laughs> this is the second episode of my series three months of movies where I'm going to tell you about all the movies that I watched to reach a hundred movies in a year maybe We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so in this video I'm going to mention all the movies that I watched in April, May and June. The first movie that I watched in April was Tomboy, which is a French movie, it's on Netflix and it's an LGBT film. It's basically surrounding the life of a young uh, transgender uh, person, it's like a young child and it's nice up until the end, where I don't want to spoil it for you, but like all the messages that they tried to convey during the movie kinda get lost. So like, I was, yay, this is such a positive movie and like, it tells all the right things, but then like, it, it crumbles and I don't know, it left me bittersweet. So I gave it like a 7.5 out of 10, which could have gone more because movies about transgender people, we need more and it was nice. Arr! Did you watch it? What did you think of it? Then I watched Kinky Boots, which I loved so much and I'm probably going to see the musical in a couple weeks. I'm so excited and the music and the story, it's so amazing. It's basically about a guy that has a shoe factory and he meets a drug queen and drug queens need heels but there were only heels for women so too small for their feet and so they create heels for uh, drug performers and it's so nice and the characters are so cool and I loved it I loved it so much and apparently I was only watching LGBT movies because then I watched Paris is Burning which is a documentary about the Harlem uh, drug balls in New York City in like in the 80s and it's a documentary but it's so like it, it's so interesting. You can definitely check it out. It's on Netflix and I really enjoyed it. Then I watched Birdman, which left me feeling very like, what have I watched? <laughs> like kind of weird. Maybe I didn't like properly understand it, but I mean, I enjoyed the ride, so. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> then I stumbled upon a movie that is not really what I usually watch and it's called Playing It Cool but it has Chris Evans in it. So I watched it. I'm a simple woman. You give me Chris Evans, I watch the movie. <laughs> uh, but like the story was very simple, like guy liking a girl trying to uh, like date her and stuff. But it was kind of cool because every time the, the main character tried to imagine stuff like how he was gonna approach the, the girl, he like imagined it in so many different ways like cartoons or like medieval times, different alternative universes and it was very cool. And then, please don't kill me, yes I didn't watch this before but now I have, so calm down, I watched uh, Star Wars A New Hope and I enjoyed it a lot. So. Please don't shout at me. Yes, I didn't watch it before. Yes, I like space and sci-fi. Why didn't I watch it before? I know, I know. Now I'm like trying to watch them all, so give me time. I will watch them all at the end of this year, I swear. Then I went to the cinema to watch Whitney, Can I Be Me, which is a documentary about Whitney Houston, and it was really interesting because I basically knew nothing about her. And it was, I mean, I wanna say nice, but it talks a lot about her like addiction and how she died, so it's like, obviously not a cheerful documentary but it was very very interesting to watch then I watched the Empire Strikes Back so still watching Star Wars don't worry but I did like this one way better than the first one and I love Han Solo a lot now and he's winning my heart so I will keep watching definitely then I found on Netflix Psycho which is an independent movie never got released into cinemas and stuff had a really low budget and although the like the premises it's really simple which is 50 people waking up in a room in a circle and every couple minutes people die and they have to find out why and how to stop it and stuff like that but obviously almost everyone wants to stay alive so they try and find ways to let other people die on different reasonings and they bring up different issues like racism homophobia and like they analyze human behavior and it's really interesting. Give it a watch, it's on Netflix. Another movie that basically everyone has watched but I didn't was Juno and it's on Netflix and it's another independent movie and there's Ellen Page and it's about a girl in high school that gets pregnant and wants to give the baby in adoption and all the problems that come with that and I mean, it's a nice movie. That's not amazing, but it's nice. Then, oh my god, maybe one of the movies that I liked the most out of all the ones that I watched during 
these three months has been Kingsman, which I didn't know, like, it was a thing. And now there's a, a Kingsman 2 coming out in a couple months, maybe, I don't know, like in the near future. And it's a very cool action movie and it's funny and it has spice, but you can see like the action part, which is the thing, like the problem that I have with action movies is that it goes so fast that you can't figure out what the fuck is going on. And this one, it's amazing. There are a lot of like slow motion, type things so you can understand what is going on. I liked it, I liked it a lot and I can't wait for the next one to come out. Yes! Then I watched, re-watched Hairspray but I didn't remember almost anything from it and it's a musical and now I'm obsessed with all the songs and that's all I'm singing and ah, uh, it's so nice and Zac Efron, it's uh, so beautiful. And then I watched Chicago for the first time, I know. I like musicals, I should have watched all the important musicals by now, but I haven't yet, so I'm trying to watch them all. And Cell Block Tango, you guys, the best scene ever, it's so fucking cool. If you like musicals or if you like want to hear good music, go watch Chicago. Then I watched Wonder Woman, I was waiting for this film. Oh god, yes, it's such an amazing movie. It has a female heroine and it has romance, but not too much and it's like not the main part of the movie and like the first half of it when Wonder Woman is trying to figure out like how to live a like normal human life. It's so funny, it's so funny. I liked it so much. Also very cool, badass and beautiful female warriors. I'm all about that. Give me all the movies with them. Amazing, I loved it so much. And then I finally watched the Disney movie that I slept on for the longest time, which is Ragged Ralph and it's so nice and it's so funny, you guys. Like, go watch it if you haven't because part two, it's coming out in a bit next year, maybe, and all the like new Disney princesses are in that one. So I am so excited. And that's apparently all the movies that I watched in these three months, which are another 15, so we're up to 30. So I need to watch more because at this rate, I won't get to a hundred. Oh god. If you have any film recommendations, please leave them down in the comments and I will watch them and I will talk about them in a very excited <laughs> way and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in my next one. So why not subscribe to my channel, my Italian channel and watch my latest video, which I put somewhere. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!